Yes, Bitcoin halving is the biggest crypto event that's gonna happen in five days. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how I plan to utilize this and speculate this and how I plan to make the most profits from this Bitcoin halving. Because believe me or not, guys, even though Bitcoin halving will happen, most people will still lose money. So make sure you watch this video until the end so that you not lose money instead, okay? Learn what Bitcoin halving is, how to speculate it, and I'm also gonna give you my personal opinion of where you know I see uh, the Bitcoin you know price going next from, from this Bitcoin halving, and I'm also gonna explain you in general what this Bitcoin halving thing is because remember guys, education is the key for long-term success. So let's begin. So for those guys uh, who are wondering, Andrew, where have you been? Uh, well, I have been sailing around the Malta for the last 10 days with my family. Well, and also we were looking for some you know, great opportunities regarding real estate because Malta is booming right now. Anyway, so what is Bitcoin halving and why does it happen? So let's be uh, simply, let's simplify this as much as we can, okay? So Bitcoin halving is basically, first of all, how Bitcoin happens. Bitcoin is being mined by the Bitcoin miners, okay? Now, when the Bitcoin halving happens, those people who mine Bitcoin, so that Bitcoin exists, their, their, their rewards for mining Bitcoin will be slashed in half, okay? So Bitcoin halving is it's pre-programmed in a, in a smart contract. So Bitcoin halving is pre-programmed event that reduces the rate at which new Bitcoins are created, happening approximately every four years. So this but guess what? So the less people will be mining Bitcoin because they're not getting, you know, the, the best, the same rewards. So more, so miners will, more miners are leaving the mining market. But guess what? The demand for Bitcoin is still the same. However, the demand for Bitcoin has never been as high as it is right now. So what's happening? It's really interesting stuff. So Bitcoin is, you know, Bitcoin, when Bitcoin halving happens, and then the demand has to be there and demand is there oh, crazy okay that's why do you think the bitcoin etf was approved just a couple of months before the biggest crypto event because of this okay so i, I look at it so this is it, it how the mining happened before in 2009 2012 2016 2020 and now in 2024 so uh, now why does it matter it matters because the scarcity halving reduces the rate at which new bitcoins enter the circulation increasing scarcity and potentially what happens then if the demand is there scarcity grows basically you know the price of the bitcoin grows but guys please make sure you watch this video until until the end it's not like it's not as because newbie newbie traders newbie investors and people who are new to the cryptocurrency industry that they, they think that wow bitcoin gonna bitcoin halving is gonna happen on the 20th of april wow great so what should we do we should buy bitcoin on the 20th of april no why we're gonna take a look at the charts and we're gonna take a look at how actually the price was impacted by the halving on a previous uh, in previous cycles so uh, historical impact okay the previous halvings have historically been followed by the significant price increase attracting more attention from investors and traders now what are the long-term implications the long-term implications are as follows the last bitcoin uh, halving will happen in year 2140 I may probably not be here by that time. Are you gonna be here by that time? That's the beauty about smart contracts. So now let's take a look at the, okay, the Bitcoin halving. Before I continue, I just wanted to remind you that we have launched private training managed account service, which is completely for free. If you click on the first link below the video, you'll be able to join our trading team and generate five to 12% ROI every single month. It's a private training managed account service uh, which is being managed by our trading senior admins. 
Uh, so that's and it's completely for free more information if you click on the first link below the video completely for free now Let's continue a lot previous Bitcoin halving was on May 11th 2020 Let's take a look at the charts. What happened when this halving happened the last halving. Let's take a look um, Here we go So 11th of May right here, okay, <laughs> Bitcoin you had a huge dip you know, three days before that. So uh, then at the 11th of May, when the Bitcoin halving happened, there was a huge wick. So the Bitcoin, you know, there was still huge red candle on a day when a Bitcoin halving happened. Then again, okay, the price went, uh, the, then the price went up, still went down, up and down. So the Bitcoin halving didn't mean that the Bitcoin shoot up. Whew, no. Bitcoin halving actually caused Bitcoin price to go lower, you know, uh, that's, as you can see, see these wicks? This is where so many people, so many newbie traders are over leveraging their buy trades and they get liquidated. That's what all the crypto exchanges loves. That's why I'm telling you guys, brokers and exchanges are not our friends because exchanges they see exactly how, where you buy and and where you have your set your sell orders so and uh, so for bitcoin after the halving okay the previous halving it took it it took bitcoin from here look at this all on a like, like again it's a, like a text text textbook uh, textbook analysis Okay, it took, it took Bitcoin from the 11th of May up until the 26th of July to actually break out of this range. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the most scariest, most craziest time when people and hamsters are running around and they're thinking that they're losing all their money which they are on a paper but guess what because of the bitcoin halving because that apple okay is being slashed in half as long as demand and people want the bitcoin the price is going up the long term and uh, so in long story short guys in every single time when a bitcoin halving happens the price drops by at around 20 percent and then it goes up drastically. So please understand that when a Bitcoin halving happens, what we could expect is the price to go down and then, you know, consolidate. And then when it breaks out, it was going to break out. But now remember, guys, there are, there, are, there are a couple of other things. So Bitcoin at the moment is at all time high, okay, which has not happened before in a previous Bitcoin halvings. Now, second thing, uh, second thing is that demand for the Bitcoin has never been so high as it is right now. And third thing is that there is war going on right now in the Middle East. So what happens when the war goes on in the world? At the beginning, you know, stock markets and gold markets dips. However, then it's, you know, it's, it's, it's pumping. Now, so they know, so Bitcoin halving this year, which is going to happen in five days, is different from the previous Bitcoin halving, but because of these narratives, because of these crazy narratives, uh, you know, it is, it, you, know, you know, the sky is the limit. And so the Bitcoin halving, uh, the fourth Bitcoin halving is here in May 2024. Okay. Uh, and the percentage of Bitcoin minted, uh, mine, sorry, is 96.88. So the next Bitcoin halving, halving will be in 2028. And then after that, the next Bitcoin halving will be in 2032. So Bitcoin halving is the biggest event, guys. And the Bitcoin halving was one of the you know strongest narratives of why Bitcoin was able to you know go from one dollar to now it was you know a little bit uh, 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 over seventy thousand dollars. And sky is the limit because Bitcoin last Bitcoin halving is gonna happen in 2140. So it doesn't matter where you buy Bitcoin, as long as you understand the narrative that in the long term, the price of Bitcoin is going to go up. But the bad things is this, that, guys. Uh, what I feel, so how I am going to uh, speculate it? I'm going to speculate it the same way I speculated this four years ago and we made a bunch of money. 
So, and how? Really, really simple. So, we understand that when a Bitcoin halving is gonna happen in five days, okay, we could expect Bitcoin to dip by 20 to 30 percent. Well, we'll see what's gonna happen. Uh, but the demand is really, really strong. Then, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm basically going to create this range, like I do in my technical analysis. But in this time, we're gonna do complete degen range. The gen range is gonna be daily time frame candlestick chart. When we're gonna place the higher, pl uh, where is the highest point? And uh, the highest point was right here. Boom! The lowest point, or oh, you know, where is the swing low? Swing low was right here. It's already set. Boom! And here we go. Okay. And then now when the Bitcoin halving is gonna happen. We could see maybe maybe the Bitcoin, you know, breaking below 60,000. It's absolutely possible. We can also see Bitcoin going to the 57,000 or perhaps 51,000. Yes, it's possible. However, when this is going to consolidate and when this consolidation is going to, you know, it's going to the Bitcoin is going to break out an upside no matter what, you know, it's just a time game. And what's going to happen right here? Look so my play, my speculation is going to be super simple, super easy, and I'm going to be confident that I'm going to, you know, make money from this, uh, you know, from this long-term trading tactic, no matter what. So here we go. I'm going to wait for Bitcoin to break this previous swing high, which was high, which happened on the 13th of March, 2024. Any magic? No. Why? Because this is exactly the same how we played it. Uh, four years ago. Let's zoom in. We create the range, previous swing high, swing low, range, break out of the range. Boom! Nice! Beautiful! Now, how not to lose money is by not buying the Bitcoin at the Bitcoin halving. Because Bitcoin could, I know, could dip after halving. Dip, dip, dip. And nobody knows, guys. Nobody, there is no crystal ball. Nobody knows how low it could dip, but it could dip. But what we know is that once it breaks the break, you know, once it, once the Bitcoin breaks out this range on the upside, that's the best position where to jump in. Because it's always better to be safe rather than to be sorry. And will it ma would it matter in a previous Bitcoin halving? Would it matter if you bought, if you bought Bitcoin here at the eight point two thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars? At that time, this could be like a crazy range. You think, woo! I bought Bitcoin at this pre at the highest point ever at ten thousand. Oh man, what did I done? It doesn't matter because Bitcoin halving is happening. So let's not be the hamsters, let's be educated and let's not lose money because believe me or not, people will still, most people will still lose money. Uh, and as you can see right now, we can see the Bitcoin is doing dips. You know, Bitcoin is going down. Exactly what happened, you know, in a previous Bitcoin halving. Uh, and and before that, okay. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also, do you want to copy my uh, and my admin trades and generate profits such as these on day-to-day -day basis? If you are interested, guys, uh, then you're welcome to click on the link number three below this video, link number three, and join my trading VIP group where you can uh, copy my and my admin trades every single day for life. Uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Email is down below. And yeah, trade safely, trade responsibly, enjoy your profits, and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.